Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to FIT. Today I'm going to do a video on losses. A lot of people come to me to talk about losses, how to overcome them, how to avoid them. And I'm going to tell you, as a trader, this is the most important thing. If you want to have longevity in this game and you want to be a successful trader, you want to be here five years from now, you want to be here 10 years from now, you want to be here until you retire, you better learn right now that you have to avoid losses, you need to learn how to control your losses, and ultimately, you need to learn how to get over your losses because that's the biggest thing. People have a hard time getting over them. Most traders fizzle out of this business. 95% of traders, what do they say, fail in the first two years because they couldn't deal with losses. That's ultimately what it comes down to. It's not because they were winning so much and they were making money every single day. They're like, oh my God, this is so hard even though I'm making money every day and they leave. Typically, that's not the case. It's because they did not respond well to the losses. A lot of new traders come into this business. They come in these bull markets. Essentially, we've had a bull market for the past 10 years. It seemed like it was easy to make money. And then they follow the same behaviors they always had. But then when the market stops responding to the way it was before, and they use the same price action buying strategies, you know, they're buying the breakouts, they're buying the equilibriums, they're bottom fishing. And all of a sudden that, stop, that stops working. Traders fizzle out because they don't adjust. They don't adjust to what the market is telling them. The best traders do. They learn to adapt to what the market is giving them. But first thing, as a trader, you need to understand, we are the average. We're, we're the average guy, right? We're the average Joe. You know, I trade from home. I show up every day, and I'm trying to beat, you know, the other traders out there. I'm trying to beat the computers out there. I'm trying to beat the institutions out there. It's not really going to happen, right? I can't just beat everybody. What I need to do is find my space, find my little space in the market, and try and make some money off of that. I need to find my edge. Where's my edge? You know, people that know me, they know I have my edge in pot stocks. That's why I don't jump around too much because I have an edge in pot stocks. I understand the net house behavior. I understand the ticker behavior. I understand the level two behavior. Those are the things that give me my edge. So that's why I really focus in that niche versus jumping around all over the place. That works for some people. It doesn't work for me. So I stick here. This is my edge right now. And who knows, maybe a year from now, it'll be somewhere else. But this is where I'm putting my attention. But when I show up to work every day, I understand these challenges that I'm going to face. I'm going to face a computer that is faster than me and is going to respond to news or, or, or something that's out there much faster than me. The algos are going to be better than me. I understand that. I understand I'm going to deal and trade against other traders that have more experience than me. You know, maybe they've been trading for 15 years. Maybe they've been trading for 20 years. And I'm at a deficit when I'm trading against them. I understand that. I understand I'm trading against the big banks, the funds, endless money, institutional money. You know, you're trying to play oversold and the stock just keeps on going down. And you're like, how can the stock keep on going down? Endless shorting, endless money coming in. I understand that. That's going to be a challenge. Insiders. Insiders have more info than we do. So we understand that there's going to be a disadvantage against insiders. If they're selling a stock and we're trying to catch a bounce or they're buying and we think it's going to go down, we don't know, right? We only find out after the fact. That's a challenge. And then the average person, you have to filter out all the noise that's around you, all the noise from the media, from social media, from the pumpers, from the fear mongers. You have to watch out for all that stuff. And you need to really just find your place. Don't get... You know, don't follow somebody because they said this, you know, don't listen to this guy because they said this. You got to follow you. You got to find your space, watch the charts, learn what the charts are telling you and react to that. Okay. Training is 20% knowledge and 80% behaviors. I've taught people, you know, basically every, everything I know Then it, you know, requires more experience. you got to see the charts play out. you got to understand certain things that happen. That's all great. That's just 20%. The knowledge is 20%. 80% is your behavior. That's why I don't like people paper trading because when you paper trade, you've got no skin in the game. You've got no emotion in the game. Very hard. You know, if a stock is, you know, dumping, you're like, okay, you know, I'll add, I'll add another thousand here. The stock's dumping more. I'll add another 5,000 here. It doesn't work that, it doesn't work that way when you've got your skin in the game. So 80% is our behavior. Dealing with them, your fear, your greed, and regret. So fear, you know, people have the fear of losing money. They have the fear of buying a stock when it's coming down, when it's actually a great opportunity to be buying money. People have challenges with greed when the stock is breaking out. 
they're in, they're up so much money, but they don't want to take anything off the table because they think it's going to continue to run. And regret. Regret is a big one because you regret not selling sooner. You regret not buying more. You regret not taking that trade, even though you saw other people take it. And when you're dealing with regret, you know, you're missing other opportunities because you, you know, you're dealing with an opportunity that you just missed. And now there's another opportunity. You're like, oh, I don't want to go out for that. What if this one backfires on me? So these three emotions are very challenging to deal with. How can you get over them? Really, it comes down to experience. It comes down to rules. It comes down to plans. So this is what I'm talking about here. How to combat losses, not avoid them. You cannot avoid losses. It is absolutely impossible to you know, make 100 trades and win 100 trades. Absolutely not. If you're, if you're winning 60% of your trades, that's great. You're doing a great job as long as your 60% are outweighing the 40% that you're losing. Now, if you can do even better and do 70, 30, 80, 20, I mean, that's fantastic. But really, you're not going to avoid them. You have to learn how to contain them, control them, and control your emotion. So first, you need a set of rules that you're going to follow 99% of the time. Why 99? Why not 100? That one percent of the time, you just gonna do it. You're just gonna go for it. You're gonna you're gonna see something happening. You're like, oh, I know I shouldn't be doing this right now, but no, I've done it myself. I've taken those trades. I understand when I do take them. I understand the risk that I'm inheriting when I do take them. It's it. Your your rules are meant to be broken once in a while, but you gotta be consistent with them. And every time you make a mistake, you're gonna look back and you're gonna look back at the rules that you have written down. You're gonna be like. Yep, there it was. I didn't follow that rule. And that's what happened. A trading plan. Most people, you know, most traders, when they come into the day, they have a plan, right? Here's my plan. This is going to happen today. You know, we got a bull flag here. We got a, a bull pendant here. I'm going to play off of this equilibrium. Great. They have their plan. They're all set up. They're ready to go. Great. That, that happens, plays out or doesn't play out. And then they're sitting here. They're sitting in front of the computer and they're just looking around and they're like, okay, I'm going to take that trade. Okay, I'm going to take that trade. And then the losses start to pile up. And maybe they had a successful morning and now they're starting to get some losses and they're giving back their gains in the morning. And then now it's late in the afternoon. They're like, oh, you know, I was up X amount. I just gave it back. Okay, I'm going to make another trade. Try and get back what I, what I lost from this morning. And then boom, they leave the day of a red day. Because the further you get away from having a plan, the more likelihood you're going to have to take in losses. So when you're just responding to the price action that's happening intraday, you didn't have a proper plan set up for that, the more likelihood you're going to start to take some losses. Now, great. Intraday, if you're setting your plans, here's what, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter a trade here. Here's where I'm going to place my stop. Here's going to be my profit target. Great. That is having a plan. You can have a plan intraday as well. Number three, you need to stop, you need to follow steps one and two to avoid big losses. Big losses are account enders, they're psychologically too hard to get over. This is where most people fizzle. They don't, they don't follow the first two rules and then they take that big loss. And when you take a big loss, it is so hard to get over it because now you become very, you're, you're risk adverse now. And now you're dealing with loss aversion. You don't want your next trade to be a loss. You cannot allow your account to go further down. If your account takes another step back, you're going to really start to get scared and you're losing too much money. So what ends up happening is because you don't want to take another loss, you stop taking trades. And then you miss out on a great trade, a trade that you typically would have taken. And when you don't take that great trade, then you're dealing with regret. And then you're dealing with missed opportunity. And then the, the emotions start to compound. You know, I took that loss. Now I missed another opportunity. This run has happened without me. Maybe this is not cut out for me. This is why one and two are so important. You cannot suffer a big loss. If you suffer a big loss, you've made a crucial mistake. And it's going to be, it's going to be a while to get over a big loss. What I tell people how to get over a big loss you have to understand when you're dealing with a big loss, you're going to miss trades. You absolutely are going to miss trades and you have to miss trades. You have to take time away from the market. You really have to be able to digest the loss, understand what caused it, what you did that led to a significant loss and how you're going to avoid it in the future. What I do see people doing when they take a big loss 
is they try and make it back right away. They try to make it back being on tilt. It's like the poker saying when you're on tilt, the next trade that comes available, you know, they go all in and, you know, they double their size, they triple their size, and they're trying to recover it all at once. And what's going to happen? You're going to get another loss and it's going to be another bad loss. And then that's really ultimately what ends traders. That's really what puts an end to their trading career because they chased after a big loss and now they've reached a point, a climax in their account where they've lost too much money and they can't deal with it. And this is why I say, take a break. If you've taken, maybe maybe it's even a string of too many losses. It's, it's paper cuts, one after another, after another, death by a thousand cuts. The, you gotta take a break. You really have to understand what's happening. What's the reason that's causing you to suffer from all these losses? The chart is not responding the way you think it should respond. So you're blaming the chart, but what you really need to understand is you need to reflect. What are you doing that's not responding to the chart? And that's the number one thing. You have to understand once you've taken all these losses that you didn't used to take, the charts are acting differently. They're responding differently and the best traders know how to adjust. So you gotta work on that. You gotta take, you gotta take a break, take a step back, Make sure your next trade is a comfortable trade. Start playing a little bit smaller. Start to try and compile some wins, one win after another, even though they're small. It's building up confidence. You're trusting your TA again. You're understanding, okay, hey, I made a big mistake, but look, I know how to do this. I'm following my set of rules. I'm building consistent winners. As you string back the confidence, boom, next big trade. You hit it and you forget about that big loss. You don't forget about the big loss where you're going to be able to make the same mistake, but you forget about it in terms of you've overcome it. You're ready to move on. You're ready to take the next step. Number five, talk to other traders or mentors, but don't do it for comfort. Do it for feedback. When people come to me and they ask me about, you know, this trade that they took, this loss potentially that they're dealing with, I give them the tough love. I don't give them, oh, you know, it's too bad that that happened. It's not going to happen. I'm going to really reflect with you on what you did in the trade, what you missed on the chart, and why did you miss it? Because basically, it's always going to come down to one of these three things, fear, greed, regret. So really talk to somebody who's going to be honest with you, that's going to give you the real feedback, and that's somebody there that's going to comfort you. Because comfort is not going to make you a better trader. Comfort's not going to make you learn from the mistake that just took place. Tough love, good feedback, good coaching, good mentoring. Talk to another trader, a more experienced trader, you know, or a mentor, somebody, a coach, really somebody that's going to help you understand the mistake that you made and how to get over it. Lastly, you got to learn from your mistakes. If you make a trade and it's a loss and you make another trade and it's a loss and you're just blaming the chart, you know, you're blaming your environment, then you're not learning. You're not learning from the mistakes that, that were made. You know, maybe you try to play a bull flag. Maybe you try to play a bear flag. Maybe you try to play an EQ and you're like, oh, it didn't respond the way it should. The chart's always telling you what it most likely should do, but there's little things happening, whether it's the volume, whether it's some divergence on the chart. You know, maybe there was news and you didn't respond to it. You were unaware of it. And you missed some of the key signals that were there to tell you that most likely this is a risk trade and you're going to take a loss. So you've got to learn from your mistakes. If you don't learn from your mistakes, you will never get ahead. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found value in it. Please shoot me some questions, some comments. If you have anything to talk about in relation to losses, here to help. And I look forward to talking to you soon. We Gucci, baby. Have a great day, everybody.